it doesn't happen, but nine times out of ten, if you run this comp into a good Zarya, you're just gonna get graphed repeatedly. Um, in that situation, let him grab the health pack, unless he calls for healing. Because if your tanks had gotten pushed really hard and all that was a Lucio, they could have been in trouble. This is really clean, by the way. That's why I'm not saying anything. You guys are playing really well. I predicted that's horribly wrong. My bad. Yeah, sure. Yeah, spread out, spread out. What? Watch your fire left side. What? Can I just try to? I'm gonna try and make them uh, just get me a grab. Yeah, just yeah, fire, fire left side, fire left side. Um, you should have the hog with you in that situation, because they're gonna be way more likely to drop a two-man grab than they are to drop a um one-man grab. Like you, they'll just push in. But if it's you and Hog, they're going to have a harder time pushing through that, and they're going to be more likely to grab you. And Hog isn't going to have any trouble surviving a Graviton. Yep. So you might as well just throw him up there with you. Also, um, he has big potential up there in the front. I'm in trap. I'm in a trap. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Um, how close are you to Hammer Down, by the way? Do you know? Do you remember? Uh, no, I do not remember. I'm pretty sure. I can check, but keep, keep going. I'll check in a sec. I'll check. Okay, because I'm asking because that would be a huge hammer that your team could totally get in on. And then that would be a huge hammer. Yeah, that your team could get in on. Like you got rezzed with no Ryan shield in your face twice and. You walk back in front of your team. Like, at least pin somebody back in front of your team. I didn't. I tried. Uh, I was trying to the entire time, but my pin was down. Okay. I, I was actively looking for that, and pin was Yeah, on. if your pin is on cooldown, then that's okay. But... I'm done. Ryan dead, Ryan dead. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I was only at 20. Ooh, that beat drop was clutch. I was at 55%. Okay. So I didn't have it.
Okay, so I like the setup here. And I like the plan. But fabulous, you do some questionable things at best. This this is questionable. And then and then you can heal. Like you can heal your tanks from right there. You see it, right? Go back. Okay. You can heal all of your tanks from back here. And if they dive back, where can you fly to? You can fly over there. But if you're forward and they dive forward, you're not. You don't have a good space to run away to. You you keep going over here for no reason. I like that you stay fairly mobile, but there's no reason for you to follow your tanks in those um, situations up there. That was a good follow there. Like, your damage boost was pretty nice. But there's no reason for you to be here on this platform ever unless the other team pushes you somewhere else. And here you actually get yourself killed. Mm -hmm. Because you go back when you don't need to. You could have just hit up there and been fine. Yeah. But you just LOS your Zen, so you can't get any healing from him. And you LOS your tanks, so you can't get any help from them. Mercy, mercy. Mercy, mercy. Mercy on point. Zen's by himself. Okay. And that snowballs into this. This is a really good Valk, by the way. I like that you're staying nice and high. Alright, you, you guys as a team, your setup here is terrible. Um, what you do is you put your tanks and your Genji up here where Fabulous is sitting right now, right? And then... Can we get it in a frame? No. Okay, we'll just let it play. Anyways, put your tanks and your Genji up here where Fabulous is sitting right now, which... Caddis can... You guys actually do that. Then the rest of your team needs to be here. That would be Soldier, Mercy, and Zen. Um, as Mercy, you can fly towards and then fall down the side of the wall. Um, but you need to like constantly be canceling your shift so that you are always down there and have the flyaway option of over there. Okay. Because if they like, they're either going to dive the tanks, and if you're down down here, hovering by the wall, they can't hit you while you heal the tanks, and. Or they're going to dive your back line. They're just going to run into your tanks and push through and dive your back line, at which point your tanks will dive back um, to peel. And you're down, and you can start a shift up here and then cancel it so that you're still in the middle of the air. Because the only character in the game with like sustained flight is Farah, mm -hmm. And she's not going to kill you most of the time. So if you can stay in between where you can't get hit from high ground or low ground, you're in the best spot possible. Please don't yes. see mine. Okay, so. But you should be starting, yeah, back here. And Zen needs to be back here, but Genji needs to be up here. You, you don't need to be back here, Genji. You're not going to accomplish anything. I'm just going to make it harder for you to farm your ult. Everybody's high ground. Back up. And Seed is feeding. And see, this, that was perfect. This is bad. This is perfect. This is bad. Right? You see this? Perfect. And then you shift too far. 
and put yourself in harm's way. Mm -hmm. You need to manage that a little bit better so that you never get that high up. And, and then, then I don't know why you're down here because you have safe people up there. That's awful. I need to work on that. Up there, you have safety. And you're on the ground, on cart, where Tracer's going to be. Mm -hmm. Never want to be where Tracer's going to be. And you look for it. You're a little bit late. Thank goodness you have a trance. All right, here, here, this is really important because you never do this. You need to call for somebody to go up because you can stand on those rafters and heal them down here mm -hmm. from safety. Or if nothing else, you can float in the air and heal them, but you never call for your tanks to go up. Kadisk actually has to do it on his own, and that means that he has to be paying attention to you instead of paying attention to his job. Whereas if he can just trust you to be like, go up, then he would just jump instinctively because he trusts you, and easy, easy peel. Gaddis, there's no reason for you to be down here. I think I'd jump back up. If I don't, then I'm an idiot. That's you're, you're waiting too long to jump back up. You yeah. need to do that early so that you have your cooldowns ready. Seed dives for the trance so that you guys can all... And you, you don't need to be doing anything down here, Fabulous. Like, you're literally contributing nothing. Mm -hmm. The tanks don't need your heals. Full health. Pretty much full health. Um... You, you would be way better off damage boosting that guy this whole time, right? Like, like I said, your tanks should come to you for heals, and if you notice that they need it, then, you know, help them out. But, like, there was a whole meta that existed on the back of Zen Lucio healing. Yeah. So, they you, you don't need to follow them around and pocket them all the time. If they really need healing, they will either come to you or put themselves in a safer situation, but you should not rush to heal everybody all the time. Just because somebody takes chip damage doesn't mean they need healing. You have a Zenyatta. He can handle pretty much all of the other team's damage output. They've both they've lost both supports. There's no way that you need to be healing anybody at all unless they ult your team. And then you probably just don't heal them and res them. But your damage boost would be huge. That'd be huge on the soldier to help finish targets and burn things down quickly. Now, see, Caddis needs healing, but if you were on high ground, Caddis would just jump up and grab healing. And you're still down here. And your tanks are still down there. You guys are putting yourselves in a super vulnerable situation. And then, and then you, I don't know why you wanted to fly to your tanks again, just. Okay, so he gets two quick kills that you could have rezzed, right? You could have rezzed both of those kills and put your team in a 6v6. Mm -hmm. But instead you wait for somebody else to die so that you're stuck in this eternal 4v6. Right, like you guys are just stuck in this repetitive 3 and 4v6. Um, also, you should have asked Caddis to jump here because he's primal raging. I can't hear you, and if I can't hear you, then you might as well not be asking. Also, I want everybody to know that if I'm watching your point of view, there's obviously going to be more visible mistakes. So, 
not only would I like to have more footage from other points of view, um, I also don't want Fabulous to feel like he's getting beat up on because he's like a terrible player. I it's have footage. more of just all I can see is Fabulous's point of view for the most part. I get that. I record these games, but how do I get it to you, dude? What is Fab dude? Upload it? To YouTube or something? Yeah. Okay. Put it as an unlisted video. Okay. You, I don't know. Okay, so... These two players get staggered. And Kadisk is right, you didn't kill anything there. You didn't manage to get any kills there because there was poor focus. I don't know if that was as much poor focus as it was the fact that we were in a 3v6. Yeah, I mean, you guys were down and they were falking. Yeah. But you and Seed were not shooting at the same targets. I did notice that yeah. watching Fabulous's point of view. You weren't coordinating on the same targets. And then you got burned so fast, you had to primal rage, which means you're not going to kill anything at all. Yeah. Um, so that's frustrating. Uh, you guys called a back out here? You're down a Zen. Other than that, it's a 5v6, and you're trying to stabilize. You could probably take this fight, but you're called to back out, gets Fabulous killed, and ends all hopes of well, taking a fight. Anyway, so. Well, that's what happened, right? Because you like you backed out, and then he bladed. You, if you had played more aggressively, then it would have been more open, and it would have been harder for him to get value out of the blade. You don't need to follow them, fabulous. Mm -hmm. They have, they have a lot of HP. <laughs> see, see, he's still fine, mm -hmm. and you could have gone and healed him then. But remember, damage boost is going to be where a lot of your value comes from, and then you heal people who are in a safe position. Because yeah. dying is awful. <laughs> Right, like that's that's how you decide a good mercy from a bad mercy in the Overwatch League is the ones who are dead are bad mercies. Doesn't matter how much healing they're doing or how many reses they get off or whatnot, the ones who are dead are bad. Because if you're dead you can't heal and you can't res. Positioning too. Yeah. Well that's how you die as mercy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everybody's good and they're all gonna be trying to kill you, so if you're dead then you probably messed up. Hey, don't fly to him there. Don't fly to him there. If anything, you should be kiting off the backside of this so that if somebody goes for you, they fall off the shuttle and you can fly back up. And that, that comes with you in six. Six should back up to the back of the shuttle so that you can just fall off the back and damage boost him or heal him, whatever he needs, and then fly back up. If Caddis needs healing, he can come to you. That's a good vertical jump. Um, if something is diving you high, don't go down because it's going to fall and you don't. Just stay up and let it fall away from you. It's either going to frag you or it's not going to, but by going down, you increase the amount of time that that character has to put damage onto you. This is a good Valk.
Black Widow. Just anything that can get long. I'm gonna dump on that torque wrench. I tried at the black mobile. Okay, you guys are super split right here. Um, safe play for Gibraltar is for everybody to go catwalk right here. Um, that way, if they have something there, like a roadhog or whatever, you have all of your people there to help, right? Mm -hmm. um, for instance, if, if you had all jumped catwalk when Six got hooked, he could have been matrixed. But because you didn't... Six got hooked, killed, Seed then flew up to Catwalk. Right? And Cat is sent on the other team, which is a counter dive by himself with no healing. So, it just, that one play right there totally tore that apart. And then this is, this is terrible. You're, you're flying at that. I wouldn't want to fly at that if I had a thousand HP. And you don't have nearly that much. And your mercy. Which means everybody hates you. So, don't do that. If your tanks need healing, they can come to a safe place. This is fine. This is a good position. And then your next position is going to be in this tunnel. And your tanks can come down to the tunnel to get healing. But... Or they can fly over here to where you're at. But you do not need to be in, in this airspace. That is a no-fly zone. Just keep pushing car. They're up there. They can't do also, your priority here should not be on doing damage. I'm speaking to you, Jim. Like, that's scary. Get in the tunnel. Okay. Get in the tunnel. They're, they're strong as long as they're set up there. And you're probably not going to kill anybody because the squishies are going to be behind the shield and the Roadhog doesn't care what you want to do. Um, so your whole team really, like the tank's job is to occupy them while your team rotates to tunnel and then they come down and get healed. Because you're trying to draw them out of position. That's how you would do this with a dive composition. But you guys kept peeking that and then... It just, it gets rough from there. Yeah, jump gonna be really good. Another one. Back spawn, 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 spawn. I feel like we have yeah, issues no, not before. taking damage in between pushes. Um, Maybe, we should get off dive, we should just go stand. There yeah, a lot of teams do. It's pretty common. I like the swap to, uh, standard comp. Um, I do like the picks here. Get a car, get a car. I'm on cart, come on. Right, this is how you do this. You go to cart. And then the other team has to react to the fact that you went to cart. Which allows you to do things like that. Um, for the most part, your tank should be fine in this situation, because you have a shield, mm -hmm. right? Like, his shield doesn't even get broken. Um, so you should be good. Just damage boost your Junkrat. Zen should be able to handle all the healing. Like I said, if something is really low, then yeah, heal it, pocket it, bring it back up. But damage boost to Junkrat there would be way more valuable than making sure everybody's 100% HP the whole time. And you're, you're still not damage boosting, so... There you go. And you're damage boosting your Zenyatta while he's ulting. I, I know, sometimes it's really hard and Mercy's beam doesn't cooperate very well. Um, okay, you have... Valk. Is that the reason you didn't res him? True. And I didn't, um, I didn't want it to be on cooldown. Yeah, your damage right now is Hanzo Junkrat. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is your team or. 
What? He would have been really useful right here. Okay, he tired. Oh, he dies to the Pharaoh. Okay. That's what happened. I would not have rezzed that. I wouldn't have valked it either. Like, you keep your whole team right here, which is fine. But you back out. And didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> you could have done that anyways with less people, but you could have done it anyway. It's huge. A soldier ruins it though? Yes. Yes, he does. I would not go Pharah in here, just because there's nowhere really, like there aren't any good long sight lines where you're not going to just get abused by any hitscan player. I mean it's fine because you've got a pocket, but it's not like really impactful. Like, I would have just stayed junk red probably. I felt like I couldn't get past their shield. You you don't need to. Um what you do is like now you've got a dive comp, right? So as junk rat, what you can do is you can just mine yourself into their back line. Mm -hmm. And be dive rat. <laughs> You literally contribute nothing to this whole fight, so... Mm. I mean, and I don't mean that like in a bad way, it's no, just no, 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 you, didn't, you, you didn't do anything, so you could have played whatever in that situation. Like, your play wasn't an issue, it was the fact that you didn't have anything to deal with the Pharaoh who was diving your back line. Um, but any hit scan will take care of that, so... Staying Junkrat would have been just fine. Or swapping or whatever, you know. You could have gone to Hanzo. It, it didn't really matter. That hook was nutty, by the way. I want everybody to know that. And Seed misses his fly through a doorway. Seed should have. I know he's not here right now, but he should have run at the other team and died. Um, because he's not doing anything up here as Baby Diva. I think he gets his mech back, but he might as well have just died. Should we have stayed here or gone back? Yes. Yes, I was gonna pick on you for that later. This is retarded. Don't do this. The, the problem is if we stay there, those two can't get to us. They'll just die. They don't probably could have died. I couldn't use my dash and what do they need to get I there? Mean, okay, they don't they don't need to get to you because what can you do from that position jump that you're in? Yeah. And does Genji need to be standing next to Winston to jump on a target? I guess uh... not. No. In fact, it's way better if he's not, because then he doesn't accidentally get shot in the face by a Junkrat mine that was supposed to hit a Winston. Right? Like, as a tank, you want to be attacking them and drawing their attention. As a DPS in this composition, you don't want any attention on you at all. And so it would have been way better, actually, if you had dove with two tanks and your Lucio from the high ground there and then sent Genji and Widow in from the other side because that would have opened up so much space for both the Widow and the Genji. Yep. But you guys back out right in front of the other team, right in front of the Rodog who just hit a nutty hook. 
right in front of a junk rat and a soldier <laughs> and an Orisa with halt and it's just like massive feet That was a cool juke. I don't know if it was intentional, but it was cool. Yeah. Now see, that is a play. That is, we're gonna go do something with our lives kind of a play. When you're playing versus a comp like that, like rotating to a specific position doesn't help you very much. You just need commitment to the objective because they've chosen to stand not on the objective. Uh, and then once you make them commit to the objective, you can change what you do with that. All right. What are you doing, Fabulous? What are you doing? This Lucio needs your attention. I'm healing. Your tanks can get rezzed, dude. I'm healing Lucio. Yeah, well watch what you do. You fly into their tanks. Into their team. Into their face. And now you're not helping anybody. And you're in the middle of their team. We're not done yet, we're not done yet. Four some more out. I get that that was a dry push, and that was a really good call, but there's still no reason for you to fly in there like that. Just stay far away from the other team until they make you go somewhere else. Alright, this is a great call from Cadisk. Want everybody to take note of that. And then you're you're still trying to go over here. You sh I would have valked just to stay alive. Because if you die, there's a huge risk that you don't cap this point. And we don't. No, you don't. <laughs> but if you had been alive, you guys would have capped this point. Even if your Valk was a bit early, even if it was a bit premature or whatever. It's like dying is more of a throw than using Valk early. You'll get another Valk. That was your... That was a great opportunity to cast the point. Their hog was hitting some nutty hooks. Yes, he was. Um, okay, so the May strat generally involves a tracer and a diva instead of a soldier and a roadhog. Um, the soldier and roadhog is fine, but the soldier has less point presence, and diva the, can go down and come back. Yeah, diva can go down and come back up. Roadhog cannot. Once he goes down, that's it. He's stuck down there. The roadhog is okay because once he goes down, he'll be fine down there. 
but he's stuck down there and he can't help the team on top. He can only help the point. Um, soldier can't go contest point. He can't dive backline heroes. He can't hunt down body shot targets. You know, he's fine for general damage output, but um, there's a lot of things he can't do. It does rely on your widow being fairly nutty, though. Which I'm not. Yeah. So it's fine Everyone to have the soldier. Here, here, both the tanks end up falling down. After yeah, I'm gonna pick on you later for that. Yeah, I dropped. I, I was tilted at you when we did that. I would have been too. I was like, you made me go through all this hassle just so you can drop down go, 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 go. after one push. I mean, the hog was already down there in my mind. It was already done. Yeah. And the hog is gonna be fine down there, though. Are you contributing yeah. anything to the hog's survival by playing on the point as Arissa? The entire game would he be fine? I mean, I'd have to drop eventually for him. Why no, not you could push Q and res him. I guess, but then he's still down there alone. That's fine. He's got more HP than any other character in the game. And he can tank any ultimate to the face, point blank, with his vape. So... I still feel like that's throwing away his... Oh, okay. And he can hook people off of the high ground onto the low ground. I mean, ideally, he doesn't go down at all. Ideally, you have a D.Va that goes down. But he would be fine on there. Like, you're not going to make any difference down there. You were going to make a huge difference up there, though, with your shield. For the DPS and your halt to be able to pull people off once they jump onto you. You can have a huge impact up top, but on the low ground, your impact is going to be minimal at best. Roadhog could literally hide in many room. He could hide up top Mega. He could just play wherever. Zen can heal him. Mercy can fly to him and heal him. If the other team spends the whole time focusing the Roadhog, then that gives everybody else a chance to shoot the other team. Right? Like, you have a lot of options that don't really... <laughs> Jesus. Um, thank you. Um, he's not going to die. He'll be fine. Your DPS need the shield way more than the Roadhog does. And you guys have already had Valkyrie for a while, so even if he had died, he could have been rest really easily. Alden desperately trying to map out the Genji's location. Using nothing but audio cues. Yeah, you should split your Zen and your Mercy up really hard if you know they have EMP. Um, because it forces them to pick which one to EMP, and either one is wrong. I feel like what they're about to do is they're about to throw their translocator over here. Should we pop ult when they do that? Oh, you just got out well, of the couldn't she no. just wait then? As, she could just as wait long as you don't get hit, then what you do is you push Q and you res people. For some reason, I thought I got hit by it. Yeah. Um, you should have. I, I don't know why you didn't. Yeah, you guys want to stay as split up as possible for the MP so that they hit as few targets. Um, if they hit Mercy, then Zen, and not Zen, then you just trance it, and Mercy will be fine. If they hit Zen and not Mercy, then you just res it, and then you can trance their follow-up if they have any, like, heavy ults. <laughs> 
Six does a good job of being really annoying here. You didn't need to drop from that position. Fabulous, you were fine. If your tanks push up this aggressively, then they shouldn't need healed in the first place. Right? Like, it should be a one fight if they're gonna push up like that. You should already have enough of an advantage that they'll be fine. Again, you did not need to go down. Yeah. I'm on the mercy. Mercy in the back. Mercy in the back. Mercy out. Mercy out. 85. Because this happens. I'm done. I'm done. You should have left. I left. I left. I left. If you just been on the high ground, you probably would have survived that and had Valkyrie by now. Um, Kadisk also tried to stay in there way too long. And... Why did you not res magic? I don't know. Didn't you have? Did you have? Just wanted to know if there was a reason behind it. I would have res magic, because Tracer has tons of stall potential. I don't remember my line of thinking. Ryan, Ryan down, Ryan down! But... I, I know I considered it. I don't remember why I did it. Hey, I was just watching the uh, I look from right there. And the reason I didn't jump out was because I was, uh, I don't know if it was on cooldown or if I was hacked. Second. You still have Jupiter. I was hacked. Added. <laughs> okay, that's understandable. That was a really nice hook. Huge impact plays. The list of assists on that mech kill. <laughs> Team effort. <laughs> So, you guys with that mech kill have pretty much already won this fight because, well, they can't do anything about that. You should ask Caddis to get you back up top where you were. Right? Or somebody. It's just probably be him. Because this is not good. That is huge, by the way. You should have stayed on high ground, though. Yeah. I don't know about like staying still, but staying in a good spot. There are a lot of situations where you're in a really good position. And you just want to go somewhere else for no reason. Yeah. Overall, really well played um, as far as like winning the games. Yeah. Huge place. Out of the farm animal. And dude, come on, you had you went zero and eight? You must be throwing. 
What's wrong with you? Not even one kill, man. Was zero and eight. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> We're gonna chalk this up to a support carry DPS. You guys suck. <laughs> no love for the Lucio, by the way. I want to point that out. <laughs> by the way, did you record today's scrims? Yeah. Today's? Yeah. Me, I did not. Okay. My internet has been AIDS lately. I recorded them. I did. I really don't want to upload them, but I'll do it. Hey. You should. There are a lot more from the horrible games than you do from the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I always upload them even though I know I'm gonna get shit on for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I only shit on you because I know that you're a good player and you could be better than you are. Bad players, I'm just like, yeah, this isn't ideal. But we'll yeah, work on it, and then we never do because I know that they're bad. Now I know why he doesn't. Talk why he doesn't talk about me? No wonder he doesn't talk about me. Like you're only bashing on Sayori now.